アンシーン64プレゼント Road Trip is a cancelled zombie apocalypse game that was in development in 2009 by French studio Hydrovision Entertainment, a team mostly known for the popular survival horror game Obscure. Planned to be released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, Road Trip was meant to be a more mature and open ended take on the zombie survival genre, with the gameplay mechanic similar to State of Decay, released only four years later. And a character driven storyline with a strong non romantic relationship between the two main protagonists, a man and a woman, somehow similar to what Naughty Dog did many years later in The Last of Us. Popular books, comics, and movies such as The Walking Dead, 28 Days Later, and I Am Legend were main influences for Road Trip. The studio wanted to create an open ended survival horror game focused on action, immersion, and the feeling of freedom. While keeping pressure on players as much as possible to surprise them with huge zombie hordes. Road Trip was meant to be different from other third person shooters in that the player was going to have to deal with a constant sense of omnipresent danger. Zombies would never give up, and they would hunt their prey aggressively as they were able to scale most obstacles. Luckily, players could use the environment to protect themselves, taking refuge inside buildings and barricading them. For example, pushing furniture in front of an exit to block it, slowing the enemies down while fleeing, or using various items to help kill dozens of zombies at once. For example, shooting a gas tank. The game's main objective was to organize the survival of a small group of characters by building up a camp and defending it from the zombies and rival factions. Players would have to accomplish various missions around many different areas near the camp to ultimately achieve this goal by exploring abandoned towns, shops, and deserted roads. Travel between areas was possible thanks to another important mechanic of the game an upgradable van, which would have been used to get around. The van could also be used as a weapon to run over hordes of zombies, and it served as a temporary base to restore health when out exploring. The van would have been upgraded with different abilities, like a ladder to climb on the roof and reach higher places, a bull bar for ramming and breaking down specific bits of scenery, or a winch to rip unlockable doors apart and move objects. The story of Road Trip would have followed TJ, a post outbreak loner, and Mia. An infected girl, as they would attempt to rebuild a society that may have collapsed for a good reason. An important aspect of Road Trip's gameplay and story would have been the relationship and cooperation between TJ and Mia, following the mutual support of both characters and helping each other with their strengths and weaknesses. This was planned to be a realistic connection between two people in a dangerous world without any trivial romance. Mia's strange infection would develop and change through the course of the game. Players would need to avoid her crisis by managing her stress and mental health. Initially, Mia would try to hide her infection to the group using clothes and bandages, but later it would become more evident that she wouldn't be able to conceal it. Characters in the camp would then start to react in different ways depending on their personalities. Work on Road Trip started in mid 2009 with a small team of about 10 people. In just a few months, they were able to create a couple of gameplay prototypes, gray box level designs in the Unreal Engine, and a vertical slice of a gas station with zombies you could fight or avoid using stealth. It was the first Hydrovision game made with Unreal, so the team needed to learn what they could do and how. This early prototype was self funded by Hydrovision, but they hoped to gather publishers' attention and sign a deal as soon as possible. 
maybe with PlayLogic, which they had already worked with to publish Obscure 2 in Europe, and to help with development of fairy tale fights. Road Trip had a lot of potential, and from what we know, it seems like the team was quite excited to work with such an interesting concept, but unfortunately, they never found a publisher to fully fund the development. PlayLogic was buried in depths and were not able to fund new games. When Hydrovision tried to pitch the game at various gaming events, other publishers told them that the game was way too ambitious for the size of their team and the money they asked for. Such an open-ended zombie survival world with gameplay mechanics and a character-driven plot predating titles like State of Decay and The Last of Us was way too ahead of its time to be green-lighted. After a year of design and gameplay experiments, in mid to early 2010, the game was finally cancelled. You can read more about Road Trip and other cancelled games on the Unseen 64 website. Check out the video description for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and in our archive we remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon to help us keep the site online, and to remember even more games that could be forgotten. Thanks for your support. I've been Sam Bam, and I will see you guys later.